Hello, I'm Richard Epstein. You saw me up there at one point playing uh, the games that I normally play on the air, which is so much fun. And uh, we have great thanks to Cobb for making this film about us. Um, what, what inspired you to do it? Well, just being a listener, when I was living here in Fairfield County in the 80s before I moved up to Boston in 91, I was a, a listener of the station. I went in, I would do volunteer work, just became enamored of it. Whenever I'd come back to Fairfield to visit family, I'd be tuning in. So uh, I, I told Jennifer the story. I Steve, the current general manager, I... I was back here in the area five years ago uh, taking care of my elderly dad half time and met Steve and he was like, oh, you're in documentary films, you know, why don't you do a film? And I was, nah. A couple years went by, I got a teaching gig at Eastern Connecticut State and he's like, okay, now you can do the film. You have access to equipment, you can have students help you, so come on. So I, I decided to do it. Well, it's great. You know, I've been on the air there uh, since 1977. You do the math. And uh, in, in many ways, it's changed. And in many ways, it's very much the same. The freedom to play whatever you want. The ability to connect to the community in a way that most stations can't in this day of corporate uh, the, the corporate, uh, the media, but um, it's 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 really a, a wonderful resource. And the recent Verso Studios uh, celebration that was here sort of typifies the type of thing that WPKN does all the time, bringing the past to light and uh, introducing people to um, you know new ways of looking at it. Well, another thing I, I just wanted to say, another reason that propelled me to do this film was I thought it could put a little bit of a positive spin on Bridgeport, too, which is a city I was born in and where my roots are. And uh, the station has done great things for the city. Good things are happening in Bridgeport. I mean, you know, it, in these times post-pandemic, real estate's a little nuts everywhere, but even in Bridgeport. And I think that, uh, you know, I would have hoped that this film also gives a little bit of a, a positive spin on the city too, as well as this great uh, organization, PKN, which is a, a really shining light there in the city. Any questions from anybody? There's a microphone over there. You, you too can be on the radio if you go up to the mic. Don't be bashful if there's any technical question or... Uh, I'll just say it was tricky during the pandemic doing this. Uh, the station closed. I started the film February 2020. Uh, station closed down in March 2020. So we had to, everyone who participated in the film uh, it was a little tricky, but somehow we pulled it off. Yes. I was wondering, yeah, obviously something like this, you can't have like a three-act script. I mean, and I'm assuming you had tens of thousands of hours of material to work with. So like, how do you decide what to start with? What goes where? Well, uh, I've primarily made my living as an editor of documentary films up in Boston for the last 30 years. I like this. I have produced some stuff. Uh, and with documentaries, some I went and I didn't have a roadmap. I just said, let's get the cameras rolling and you usually figure it out in the editing room. I had a sense that it would be programmers like Richard who would drive the story and their interesting personalities, and that turned out to be true. The film doesn't have a lot of conflict and drama in it. There's small amounts of that over the course of the years in the station. Uh, but uh, you just kind of figure out the puzzle in the editing room. Uh, 
again, I appreciate your folks' patience. It is a little long. Even Richard says, why don't you cut out another 30 minutes? But I just wanted to give screen time to as many people who were kind enough to come in and sit down. And there clearly had to be some time allotted for the context, the historical nature of the station. But it's just you kind of figure it out once you're in the editing room. Well, you did a damn good job. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, editing is the essence of creativity. You, you, you take all that all that stuff you soaked in, and to just get it down to the essence is the hardest thing. And that's what we do every time we're on the air, too, you know. I mean, I've got so many things to choose from. There are 78,000 CDs up there and 40,000 LPs, and I've got my computer, and we have a computer there. And, and you have to decide what's next out of all those, and hopefully... You know, you do it right. Another question? Yeah. Well, it's not a question. It's uh, more of an appreciation uh, for the film because it gave me a chance to uh, put a face to the voice. I know some of the people who uh, work at PKN. I've been listening for, uh, I don't know, late 70s, I started listening. So I've seen you guys do a lot of tremendous whatever. <laughs> Everything was good. I, I love this. I love it. I love the program. Some, some programs I don't care to listen to too much. I won't name them. But anyway, <laughs> they, were all, they were all good. They were, they were all basically good. And uh, you know, what I like about it, it's it brings an intellectual insight to what you know already, but you need to be reminded of. They bring, and they bring it out to you, the uh, DJ people. Um, it's, uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. You know, it's interesting because uh, one thing that wasn't mentioned is uh, I reached out to all the programmers at the station, and there were a number of programmers who did not want to participate or be interviewed, because one thing about radio, the sort of look behind the curtain that you got, um, that some of the people prize their anonymity. They like just being a voice, basically, doing their shows. So that was, that was kind of interesting, that some would have made that decision. Well, it's there. There is such a variety of personalities up there, and that's what really makes it. I don't know whether you had the comment in here, but uh, there was a little PSA we used to run with a little kid. I think he was four years old, with that lovely, you know, child's voice saying, "Some songs I like, some songs I don't like." So there you go. Some deeds, some programs you like, some you don't. There are two things I wanted to ask, and um, you just mentioned one of them. I love that tagline about some songs I like and some songs I don't like. And the other thing is there's people who have listened for a long time, but maybe somebody doesn't know the call letters. Do you remember what they, what they stand for? Yeah. Yes. The Purple Night Network with a K in night because uh, the Purple Knights were University of Bridgeport's uh, uh, teams. So uh, we, you know, we had the chance we could have changed that when we moved, but uh, no, we, we, we know it too well by now. Yeah. I just wanted to say it was a terrific documentary. I really loved it. I love the station. I've been listening since I was in high school in the 70s, and uh, thanks for making it. Thanks for coming. Appreciate the kind words. Any other questions? Well, thank you for coming today. And my, my sincere thanks to Cobb here for the concept and the execution of such a wonderful film about us. 
We also have to thank the New Yorker magazine for running that uh, little thing saying the greatest radio station in the world, which uh, uh, obviously made us feel pretty good. And by the way, uh, since this film was made, the end of it just showed a smidge of it. Uh, the station is relocated to downtown Bridgeport. We're more integrated with the community than ever. And uh, it's, it's been a really wonderful thing. All those uh, scenes of the old station are now nostalgia for me. Uh, I spent many, many an hour up there. And uh, aside from the, the records and the CDs, we saved one of the doors, which is covered, you know, from head to toe with stickers from all the various things that have happened over the years. So uh, anybody's welcome to come up there at any time. It's, it's an open door for you. And uh, who knows, you might even be put on the air when you come in. Yeah, I just would like to echo what Richard said. This film, what you saw, was kind of uh, an historical document of their 55 plus years. Uh, we cut off the credits a little early in that credit bed. I paid a little nod to the move to the uh, new location, but uh, we we're kind of watching the clock. But th yeah, that's a, a great thing about PKN. If you find yourself in downtown Bridgeport, there's a couple new great restaurants there. Uh, you should go and knock on the door, ring the doorbell and say hello. Uh, and then I'd just like to close by thanking the Westport Library, Jennifer David, for having me uh, come back down here to my home turf, which I uh, love dearly, Fairfield County. And thank, thanks, folks. You, I know you could have been out in your gardens today, but uh, thanks, for, thanks for showing up. Thank you. Thank you.